I'd like to make this video readily apparent to those who are looking at the blog in regards to Penny. Uh, I can't address every family member directly and I don't have the time to do so. So I will make this a generic across the board uh, interpretation to share with each and every one of you. Uh, my first response to you is this. Shame on you. Four years of ignoring your offspring. Four years of ignoring uh, the flesh and blood and gene pool uh, of your family. Four years of you ignoring birthdays, Easter's, Thanksgiving's, Christmas. You'll fly all the way to Seattle to see your other family members but you won't even drive 12 miles to the other side of town to momentarily check in on your granddaughter. She is a precious gift. She was given to a family that sorely needs it. You claim to be a Christian family. You claim to be Christians. At this moment, you have Christmas trees up in your house, inside your homes. All of your wealth is displayed. One of you recently slammed over $200,000 in redoing your home. Another bought a business to the excess of many thousands of dollars. Not one of you has come to me and asked me what does our granddaughter need? Not one of you has stepped forward to offer assistance. Not one of you has stepped forward to offer any help. Shame on you. You are not Christians. I am stating this to you. You are not Christians. You are anything but a Christian and you will be judged accordingly if you don't change your act while in this lifetime. Penny is a gift. She continues to be available to you when and if you change how you interact with me, with Penny, and with the community as a whole. Again, I am judging you. Yes, I am. I am passing judgment on you. The Holy Spirit directs me to communicate with you, and I am doing so. Shame on you. That is the words of the Lord Himself. Shame on you.